Let's look at how you can get files in and out of File Draft Mobile. I'm showing you this on the iPad, but it's basically the same on the iPhone. We have the startup screen here that shows you the locations on your device and on your cloud storage that you have connected from where you can open Final Draft files or create new ones. If it shows you additional programs like it does here, for example, I can see Slugline here, which allows me to access the Slugline folder here directly. And if I want, I can create a new file here. But I cannot open the Slugline files. Anyway, in addition to this, you still have all the regular options for importing files like sending them to yourself via email or just dragging and dropping them over from iTunes, which I haven't done actually for quite some time. Feels very old school. Anyway, so just access the folder where you have your files and open it. I'll open this final draft example script. One thing about the pagination of your script. You can go back and forth between Final Draft Mobile and the version you have on your desktop and the pagination will stay exactly the same. So now let's export this and see how that works. Tap on that export icon in the top right corner, the square with the arrow that points away from it and the export menu pops up. And here you have email script, email reports, PDF and print. That's it. If you go to email script, Final Draft Mobile will give you the option to export as PDF or in Final Draft format. Nothing else. So there is no simple text, avid something or whatever it was that you have on your desktop. In Final Draft Mobile, it's just FTX and PDF.